Hey everyone, Matt Canning here with BodybuildingPro.com here at the 2011 Mr. Olympia Expo in Las Vegas, Nevada here at the Mutant Nutrition booth um, uh, in the Las Vegas Convention Center and here with uh, IFBB Pro Bodybuilder and Mr. Olympia competitor in 2009, Martin Kelstrom. So Martin, tell us what you think about uh, the Expo so far. Are you enjoying your time? Yes, I think it's a good Expo. It's, it's not too big. It's um I mean, if you go to Honor Classic, it's it's very big and it's about three days show. So no, it's it's perfect. It's much people and uh, no, I like this. I really like it. I think the people enjoy it too. Uh, I like the uh, Olympia a little better because there's less people, so it's not not as crowded, and you get to actually speak with people. So yeah, I'm sure, yeah. yeah. So it's it's very good because when you are on the other side, you have the speakers and everything, and that it make it disturbing. People can't talk to you when they want to sign. They want to have some tips and that. So no, it's it's good here. It's good. So Martin, tell us when did uh, you get started with Mutant, uh, uh, and how did that happen? Did they approach you, or did you approach them? Uh, what's your background with the company? Uh, they contacted me in the end of uh, 2010 and we signed up uh, from the start of uh, 2011 I took a break uh, 2010 and um, from the beginning we were going to do everything to compete at Olympia this year but I did uh, one competition that I totally took me down in weight all too much I was totally drained, totally. And then I did Tishurana last week. Uh, I went there without my coach and I lost 20 pounds in five days. Even if I just lay on the bed eating carbs. But uh, I think it was the stress. It was a lot of pressure from home. And um, so um, now I will go, will go in to, to um, do the Honor Classic in Spain. And that only reason I do that is because I have signed with a new coach from Canada that are uh, the mutant people new and uh, I'm in contest shape and uh, he will follow me on the trip and uh, I will do exactly the same because I want to do one good show this year and he wants to see me how I look for preparing for the off season and for next year's the battle for Olympia next year. That's the reason. So Martin, with Mutant, uh, I've tried some of the supplements, Mutant Mass in particular I, I happen to like, and Mutant Pro also, the protein. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which ones are your favorite? Do you have any uh, favorites along with the company? Yeah, the taste of Mutant Mass is really good. So I use that and uh, also the, the Rage, the pre-workout, some pre-workout uh, without all the, um, the heating feeling and that gets you a little bit nervous. So it's, it's, uh, it gives you a good pump in the muscle and I like it really good. If you had to pick between Rage and Pump, would you pick would select one between the two? That's better? Mix them. I mean, <laughs> I've not tried either yet, but I will put reviews up on... Yeah, they're, they're good. Both Rage are really, really good. And uh, the, the Pump I started to use, I used it yesterday and today for my first time. And uh, it, was, it was really good. Really good. Now, Martin, you're about six foot to six foot one and yeah. 305 pounds. I mean, this is obviously, very, you're already very big, but yeah. I feel that like there's a certain amount of pressure f uh, for bodybuilders, especially of your height, being taller than everybody, basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. to put on more size. How do you feel about that, being so heavy already and being asked to continue to gain mass to be competitive against the shorter yeah, guys yeah. Who, are, who are thicker because they're, uh, because even at 250, you need to be 300 to be there 250, so it's, yeah, they can be thicker at a lower body weight. How do you feel about that and the pressure to put on more size all the time? It's always hard because I would, wouldn't say that it's easier for a smaller guy, but of course it's easier to put on mass. For, for a taller guy, you need to train more, train harder, eat more food, and it takes a lot of time. Uh, but, but something good was that when I talked to my coach yesterday, we sit down four hours, he said that you can compete at 320. It, it will not look blo blocky. You have the symmetry and everything. So now we go to put on some mass on the right places and that's good because the risk is always that you get block in your muscles. But they say, no, no problem. This time we go about 295. Next time 3, 310, 3, 315 and then we go for 320. Then you are huge. So. Well, right now you're 305 pounds three yeah. weeks out from yeah. uh, the pro show in Spain, yeah. the Arnold Classic there. Yeah. 
and it, you know that's already so big as it is and there's always of course continuous pressure yeah. but uh, you have the frame to support it you have a very wide structure uh, yeah, wide exactly. shoulders so you can do it it's just so hard sometimes when you have to eat so much so yeah yeah it 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 take time it take times to do it and um, of course it's hard but uh, i think with the new coach i have and um, take a little more rest when i train not train every day not to call you so often and um, to have the right sponsor that pay everything for me trips travel flights hotels food everything then i can relax more and uh, concentrate on on build muscles so um, I, I feel I, it feels good just now it feels good that's very good to know some bodybuilders get burnt out yeah. um, what do you feel I know you were in the Mr. Olympia 2009 and you looked very yeah. good what do you think was your best performance so far as a professional bodybuilder I have two shows I have one show that I did 2007 in uh, Spain I think it was in I don't know where it was uh, I thought I should be second after Ronnie Rockel, but you have first you have uh, the Spanish bull, what's his name? Uh, oh, uh, Paco Bautista? Yeah, yeah, he was first player, and uh, then we have Marcus Rule, total, total off season, and they put me down as, as long as fifth place. But there I was really, really good, and also when I was in Romania and took the third place 2008, there was, I was really, really good there. I, ha I haven't, unfortunately, make it so good after that. I, I was very good uh, at the press conference in 2009 in Olympia, but uh, we did something that we not should do, and um, I flattened out. Well, that happens sometimes. It even happens to Jay Cutler in 2007. Yeah, did you say you thought Marcus Rule looked a little bit soft in 2007 when you, he beat yeah, you? Yeah, he was really soft. But Paco was, I think, good, but I agree with you. Marcus, it's one of those things he has a name. Now, and that's another point. In Sweden, is it because you're from uh, well, Europe, is it yeah. more difficult to get a, uh, your um, presence out here and exposure in the United States and in, in North America because you're from Europe? Yeah, yeah, of course it is. I mean, of course, last week... I did a bad show, I can say I was really bad uh, looking through my own eyes, but to not be top 15 at that competition, that's a really big joke. I mean, okay if I got ninth, 10th place, something, but not top 15, there was so many big guys before me that are really, really, really bad, and it has happened before in Atlantic City 2008, I was full, ripped, everything, and I was placed down very low, so uh, yes. Unfortunately, it's a lot of politics in the sport, but uh, I hope that Mutant and um, all these interviews and everything, but will not come and everybody else, that it will help, because I know I'm good and I, I'm big. My, my place is on the Olympia stage. Uh, my place is not to do the other competitions during the year. It's, it's the Olympia I should go for, because I have the size. You do have the size for sure. It's Like I say, with tall guys, there's always pressure, but you're bigger than basically all of them because of your height gives you that stature and but for sure you know but they still want to say more and more because as you go taller you want more muscle you know but to compare with the shorter guys uh for your fans how can they reach you if they want to get a hold of you some fans in the united states other places in the world yeah yes no i don't have any own website because the situation in sweden is really crazy but uh when you go on facebook uh, at uh, martin shellstrom you find me there and uh, just write to me ask questions Give me some good words, bad words, whatever you want. I, I try to answer the most people. I'll put up the information for uh, Martin so you can get a hold of him uh, on the video information, just so you, if you want to see him, you can. And uh, Martin, just in any closing words right now, uh, obviously here at the Expo, do you have any predictions for uh, who do you suppose might win the Mr. Olympia tomorrow, or tonight actually? Yeah, as, as usual, it's between two guys, um, Jay Cutler and um, Phil Heath. Uh, for myself, um, of course, I like the Cutler, but Phil, he's, he, he is really fantastic. He tiny joints, tiny midsection and everything. I think he is a beautiful professional bodybuilder. So um, I think he can win tonight. I think he can win. I guess we'll see how things are going. There's been a lot of predictions going both ways. But uh, here at the Mutant booth at uh, Las Vegas Convention Center with Martin Kellstrom. Martin, I wish you the best of luck in the future. You're looking great. I think you will do very well Thank at you the uh, your Spanish Pro in three yeah. weeks. Yeah. Take care, everybody, with Bye. Martin Kellstrom.